Hi, this is Nabi. In this video, we'll look at what is Cypress and how to install Cypress. Cypress is a new test automation tool which is gaining a lot of popularity in the open source community and everyone is talking about how Cypress may be an alternative to Selenium. Um, we have heard about Selenium a lot in the last decade and the new decade entire era will be of the Node.js based tools like Cypress, Webflow, IO, Testscape and all. And out of all this tool, Cypress has gained a lot of popularity. And to see what different system requirements and different browser support, it will help you gain the why it has gained a lot of popularity. Coming to the system requirement, it supports Mac OS 10.9 and above. It supports Linux Ubuntu 12.04 and above, Fedora, Debian, and Ubuntu 7 and above. To install Cypress, there are three different ways. One is using NPM, which is a node packet manager. Second is using Elm. And third, you can directly download through the link, which is given on their official website. So let me just show you the one of the ways using NPM. So let me click create a new folder. Cypress test. And open the terminal. side by side so that you can see what's happening in the background. So we'll before installing Cypress, the first thing we need to install is the package.json file, which can be done using npm init and by default you can set everything to y and the package.json file has been Now the next command is to install Cypress, which is npm install Cypress, open up and save. Alright, so there's no vulnerability, zero vulnerability, and the node module folder has been included, which is basically contain all your project dependencies and libraries. All the drivers has been included. We don't have to download any browser specific drivers anymore. The next command will be to open this CLI, the Cypress CLI, or you can say the GUI part. So that will be npx. So let this open. Alright, so now you can see the entire CLI app of Cypress. Integration test is basically the folder, uh, the framework architecture of Cypress. It contains a folder name called integration. And in this one, we can create our own test. So these are just examples given. And this shows how many browser does it support. It supports Chrome 18. Now by default, my Chrome version is 80 and it has already picked. So I don't have to install any different drivers to support any browser. This has already been taken care of by Cypress. Now to run a particular test, I can just go and click on that and it will start running and launch the browser. All right, the execution started. Now it's going and doing all kinds of action and putting inserts on all those commands. We can stop this for now. And we can even do a time travel kind of thing. This is a very great feature in Cypress. So let me just close and show you through the editor. Right, so let me open any code, the Windows Code Editor, to show the entire project. Now, after opening the CLI, we got another folder which got added this Cypress. Now the Cypress contains entire, you can say, a framework architecture. Uh, which will help you. We do, you don't have to go and start from scratch your framework creation. This has been also a key advantage of this tool. And this contains four folders fixtures, integration, plugin, and support. Fixtures contain the user data. You can set your different test data in this particular file. Integration is basically where you write your entire test. Different folders can be created. In this way, in this example, we just delete this folder. We don't need this. And we will create our own something called let's say google project and the third folder is plugins for all the project related plugins can be uh, installed here you can mention in this particular file and the last folder is support uh, you can give all different kind of custom and commands or common functionality common methods can be written here and the index will contain all different kind of global variables and the part which you require for the project so this is the architecture of entire Cypress. 
which will help you to kick start with the project. So the one is Cypress JSON, which contains all the environment related configuration. Like if you want to set your URL, you can mention here your username, password, and all kind of things. And package JSON file will contain all different kind of dependencies which we needed for this project. So for example, when we give start uh, npx npm Cypress install hyphen hyphen save dev, it will be saving the dev dependencies. So we can use the same particular style for all different kind of tools also. Uh, the current version is 4.3.2. So in this, this is just a simple architecture about what is Cypress and basically how you can, you can see it's very fast compared to Selenium. It doesn't take so many requirements or so many configurations. Everything is pre-built. It helps you take screenshots, it helps you take videos, which you'll see in the next videos. We'll start with writing script on um, the next video onwards. Thank you so much.